Okay, welcome back. So, uh, we managed to escape the Empire, and now, yeah. now we're back in Narsh. Fuck yeah. Sure, um, so I know we, <laughs> I, I had mentioned this, like, before, but, uh, something that I would like to talk about today, <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> was the, uh, an Italian incident. What are you what are you talking about? Did you not see that? I'm I'm pretty sure I sent you like something about it, but um in an Italian Senate meeting they oh? uh <laughs> it was like a Zoom call Senate meeting. And um I don't Is somebody know looking up Tifa porn. Yeah, I don't uh. I think it was someone So I think what happened based off of what I saw was that um someone like got into the meeting who wasn't supposed to be in the meeting mm -hmm. and played like 30 seconds of Tifa porn <laughs> in the meeting he's got taste yeah <laughs> I, saw, I saw the meme about it it was like it was a picture of uh like the two people shaking hands and it's like Julius Caesar, Tifa Lockhart, being impaled in a Italian Senate meeting. God damn it! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go. Yep. Um. So we're doing a little bit of cleanup today. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You go into this house in Narsh. This is and Wolfman's just there. I'm Lone Wolf, pickpocket. Uh, so yeah, he pretty much uh gets pretty much all of the uh, or not all of them, but some of them. All the stuff that you missed, basically. Yeah, I mean, you could you could come back here like when you return the Narsh. Um, I just didn't do that. Okay. That's it. There. Um, so here's my party comp right now. Um, and I have Gao in my party for uh, Velt grinding later on. Um, so sadly we did lose Celeste in uh, Vector. But we got Tara uh -huh. back. She finally snapped out of her... Uh, Oh, that's good. Uh, trance. You gotta figure shit out. Yeah. Um, but we have to re-equip everything to her now. Optimize usually gives you the best, um, like, uh, arrangement, but it's mm -hmm. not always guaranteed, so I'm just going to do it myself. Um, the hair bands, I believe you can only have on the girls. I don't think you can put that on any of the guys. Apparently their masculine, uh, <laughs> uh, ego is too fragile. Look at coward. Right. You could rock a, a hair band. Yeah. Gah. Why did you come back? Like he, he came back over towards us. Alright, so... We need to follow this guy. Um, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Because <laughs> we have to follow him through the mines. By the way, I, uh... Yep. I just got kicked out of the gold saucer in 7. <laughs> oh, you finally... <laughs> <laughs> It's always a fun time. Yeah. And then you have that random guy who's like chasing you, laughing at you. Oh, fuck. So did you meet? I've met Kaishi. So like you go, huh? I've met uh, Kaishi. Okay. Kupo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Moogle. 
So you could either get the gold hairpin or you can save the Moogle. <laughs> Apparently he can talk. <laughs> yeah. This it. is Mog. A playable Moogle. Is this the only time that you ever play as a Moogle? I know up at up to this point, this is the only time that you've ever been able to play as a Moogle. Pretty sure we played as a Moogle in the beginning. Well, like I'm talking like within the franchise. Fair. I don't. There's a mini game where you play as a Moogle. Hmm. I'm talking like straight up, like in your party. Hmm. But yeah, the um the item that he had was a gold hairpin, which you can get at some point later. Um, I can't remember if you let Mog drop if you can still get him later or not. Hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still get them later on in the game, but it's, I mean, who wants to let a poor Moogle fall off a cliff, right? All right, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, so we're in the, um, the auction house and there are two main items of interest in the auction house. Uh, this, the zone eater magicite which is the rarer of the two and there's golem or golem not golem okay um so these are pretty expensive but zone seeker is can't remember what all <laughs> oh frick it's a talking chocobo <laughs> but i already have a talking moogle um, this is one of the joke items, so don't really bother bidding, because this little shit next to you is going to <laughs> have his dad outbid you. Fucking make him spend too much money. Well, we we can't. Like, we can't outbid them. Yeah, but make, him spend, all of his, make him spend all of his life savings. The, the problem is, uh, as soon as you come back here and get another uh, talking chocobo, uh, they... Just buy it again. <laughs> so fucking grand about a talking chocobo. Alright, here's our other magicite, Golem. Uh, Golem is a very... He's a pretty good one. He has a, a lot of defense buffs to him. As a summon. Can't remember what yeah. moves, though. He What uh, magic he'll teach you. Um, you can get these guys later on in the game, and I think they're a little... I can't, I can't remember if they're a little cheaper or a little more expensive. Alright, so we're going to uh, grind up some of uh, Mog's dances. So, uh, depending on where you're fighting... Um, Mog mm -hmm. can learn new dances, which is sort of his uh, special ability. Um, okay. And they're primarily dependent on, like, the the area that you're in. So, like, the forest versus, um, like, in the Serpent's Trench when you're underwater. Mm -hmm. That one, That one in particular is kind of a pain in the butt because there's only a few instances where you can get that. Okay that one all right so um now that we have the airship we can really go anywhere and we're gonna go up to this little island up here because there is a special encounter up here that i i want to show off mm -hmm. but i'll be honest i really suck at this encounter so i won't be able to like show off uh how to beat it um it's not these guys these guys I don't know why these guys are here but um you'll you'll know when we 
get this encounter. For anyone who has played this game and <laughs> knows what encounter I'm talking about, here it is. So it looks like there's nothing here, right? No. <laughs> there's something there. I'm smart enough. I'm a <laughs> I'm a smart boy. I've played a Final Fantasy game before. So, um, as you can probably guess, mm -hmm. there's something invisible <laughs> that we're currently fighting. And there it is. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting Gao to Aww. use that attack, but um, we need to cast a uh, stop on this. So this is the Antangir, uh, which is a behemoth. Yeah, I can tell. He's pretty behemothy. Yeah. And be probably, probably one of the hardest encounters in the first half of the game. Did you just hit him with a drill gun? Uh, yes, that was a drill. <laughs> was a Why does he just have a drill? Okay. Because it's one of his tools. And it has better accuracy than the chainsaw. His, his entire right. existence makes zero fucking sense to me. <laughs> Edgar? Yeah. So, here's my issue with this fight. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cast stop on it, and that will keep it from um, attacking. You don't want to hit it with um, with elemental spells, because that will cause a lot of issues. Because um, this guy knows Meteor. <laughs> and at this point in the game, that's basically death for all of your party members. Mm. Suck it, Sephiroth. <laughs> yep, yeah. there it goes. So, again, well, I am not really good at this wait fight. Wait for the fucking half ass Magicite to fucking be. What a fucking puss. <laughs> what? Fucking. She, Tara already got fucking knocked down. Well, yeah, she got hit in the face with a giant rock. <laughs> well, everybody else can dodge the giant rock. So the SNES version of this in of this fight is a lot okay. easier. Um yeah. cuz if you have Gao's I want to say um Mao rage or something it mm -hmm. um it looks like a uh, like a little ferret mixed with a groundhog type thing. Um that particular rage is the snare rage. And because of a glitch in the game, um, if you cast Snare on mm -hmm. an invisible enemy, it's essentially an instant death. Like, you yeah, you automatically kill it. Um, that's okay. the... But the reason why... Um, why you fight the Intangir is because it gives you 10 AP. Which oh. is pretty damn good. Yeah. In the SNES version, you can easily kill it like that. Like, with that. Yeah. They fixed that for, you know, later releases, so you can't really cheese the guy. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot harder of a fight. <laughs> So, yeah. I want to say this fight can go on for like five or seven minutes. Which is pretty hefty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, again, this... If you don't... If you know about this, this is the first time that you see a behemoth in the game. You Which... can't suplex things that are stopped. Says you. It fucking says any other fucking game. It's stopped. It can't move. Kingdom Hearts is a great example. It's... Breath of the Wild. Great example. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Meteor says fuck you. 
to your invisibility. So, um, yeah. It good. <laughs> Basically. Um, so, instead, I'm going to go to the bomb forest and uh, kill some bombs. Uh, so this area that we're currently in is actually called Bomb Forest, and the only things you'll fight here are bombs and grenades. Often in these formations. Who would have thought? Yeah, I know, thought? right? <laughs> so yeah. simple ice magic will easily take these guys out. Um, surprisingly, this was the second encounter, um, and uh, it's actually pretty rare for these guys, because they're usually very difficult to find mm -hmm. um so the reason why we specifically want the bomb um is because now uh, when you meet this thing on the belt and yeah i wasn't thinking there for a second uh with the savings um blitz but when you meet this thing on the belt um Gao's rage for that, I believe, is flare, which is pretty strong. Okay. It's pretty strong, uh, um, rage to have, especially for this stage in the game. Yeah. All right. So again, I'm getting some more of Mog's like uh, dances, and I'll show them off at some point. Some but, dancing mogs. Yeah, dan dancing mog. Um, dancing in the moonlight, everybody. I I don't know if this is true or not, uh, but that song apparently has a very very bad uh story behind it. I, and oh. I'm gonna double check it before I say it to the internet. <laughs> oh, oof. I actually I really like that song, so I'm uh, going to be very sad gonna, when it. You're not gonna like it. Okay. Uh... Oh no, it's locked. Sadness. All right. So um. Just checking for uh any potential like uh secret passageways um so we'll be able to do that stuff later but um so this is the way to the sealed gate which is uh where the espers are currently um behind the door you know like the the door to the esper world yeah um just kind okay of... so yeah it okay yeah, it's a real thing. Uh, allow me to read the, the traumatic experience that inspired the hit Dancing in the Moonlight. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was forward to a trip and pure period. Okay. Uh, nevertheless, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Song written by Sherman Kelly has always been one of my favorites. Blah, blah, blah. blah. This is guy just talking about how much he liked the song. Yeah. Uh, normally, I often read comments on those YouTube videos, and I noticed that Neuralink did uh, There was a comment saying that Sherman uh, by Sherman Kelly about five months ago. What? Okay. I, okay, Kelly and some of his friends were running a nightclub at St. Thomas Virgin Islands in 1969. One day, they decided to rent a 65-foot yacht and travel to St. Croix. Croix. Okay. I don't... C-R-O-I-X. I don't know how to pronounce it. For the day. Unbeknownst to him at the time, Kelly was prone to seasickness, and he and his girlfriend got really seasick on the crossing. When mm -hmm. the group arrived to, to the fucking... to St. Croix, uh, those on board uh, took a dinghy to shore uh, to look for some dinner, but Kelly and his girlfriend were both still sick and weren't interested in eating at that point. Uh, the group got its food and decided to head back to the boat to spend the night. Kelly and his girlfriend looked out of the harbor and saw that a boat, a boat's mast swaying back and forth. Yeah. Kelly and his girlfriend looked out into the harbor and saw that the boat's mast swaying back and forth. And instead of instead opt to staying in town overnight rather than risk more seasickness on the boat. Okay. 
There was, there was only one problem. Due to his extreme seasickness and disorientation, Kelly had left his wallet on the boat and had no money or credit cards for a hotel. The two went to a small inn and explained the situation to the innkeeper who, off, who offered to settle up in the morning with Kelly uh, in the morning when Kelly could return to the boat and retrieve his wallet. And he said, sure, you can stay here if your girlfriend will sleep with me, said Kelly on the telephone interview uh, from his home in Finger Lakes, whatever. Yeah. Uh, after being turned down at a second inn, Kelly's girlfriend said, it's a beautiful night. Why don't we just stretch out on the beach? And so they did. And it was, and it and that's all he can remember very clearly. Uh, what happened after that was pieced together through bits of Kelly's own memory and the recollections of other people. According to those accounts, while sleeping on the beach, Kelly and his girlfriends were victim of a vicious St. Croix, St. Croix street gang. Kelly was severely beaten by five gang members wielding baseball bats. His girlfriend was raped uh, by a gang leader and the rest were in line. But Kelly's girlfriend later reported that Kelly regained consciousness during the attack and then fought back, making enough noise to scare off the attackers. With oh Kelly yikes. drifting in and out of consciousness, the two managed to follow the lights to the along the shore, uh, eventually making their way to the St. Croix Hospital. Kelly and his girlfriend were thought to be among the first victims of the notorious Fountain Valley gang who, mur who in 1972 murdered eight tourists and uh, wounded eight more, thereby devastating St. Croix tourism for years. Yikes. Um, and then he said he woke up to the sound of his hospital roommate screaming in pain. Finally, the screaming stopped, and he heard two doctors talking about him. That's it, he says. He's gone, said the one doctor to, uh, about the other patient. Uh, what about him? Do you think he's going to make it? And the doctor says, no, I doubt it. And then they realized, you know, he realized he was talking about him. And then uh, Kelly did make it, though he spent several days in St. Croix Hospital, eventually returning to St. Thomas, where he, would, uh, where he stayed at a friend's house while he recovered. Eventually, he was healthy enough to get back to New York, where doctors in New York Hospital were able to re-break and reset his bones and in, in his face and address his other injuries. Uh, returning to his home in um, Ithaca, is that a place? Ithaca, New York. I think it's I think it's pronounced Ithaca. Uh, mm -hmm. Still in pain with constant headaches, Kelly was no longer in shape to be in a band, but that didn't prevent him from writing songs. And it was during this period of convalence, it, it, him being fucked up, basically, and him just being like, eh, I, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm write songs. And he began to write some verses for a song, verses that would later become the lyrics for Dancing in the Moonlight. And then he says that he envisioned an alternate reality, the dream of a peaceful and joyous celebration of life. And it's just me imagining a better world than the one that I had just experienced at St. Croix. Yikes. Yeah. So it's terribly sad. Wonderful song. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, for sure. So, yeah. Learned something new. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's the story of Dancing in the Moonlight. And, uh. Mm hmm. Now be sad. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that, uh, sort of section that we were just in, um. Yeah. Be quick, be careful, because uh, otherwise you get sent all the way back, and it stinks when that happens. Ew. Um, so we're in the we're in the cave, heading towards the uh, sealed uh -huh. gate. Um, uh huh. Most of these guys are either fire or zombie based, so use fire spells for zombie and. Uh, Ice spells for any of the fire-based enemies. And you should be fairly okay. <laughs> Alright. I feel like I brought the room down a little bit talking about Dancing in the Moonlight. Mm, I mean... <laughs> depends, <laughs> depends if you're gonna <laughs> come up with something else to talk about. <laughs> but hey man, that was, it was just... I want the treasure chest. It was on my mind. And it's a good topic. Because yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who didn't know that. Yeah, I, it, for some, like, I saw it on TikTok at first, and I was like, I don't know if that's real. Uh, and then you realize that, oh shit, it actually was real. It's like, oh no. I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. You know, but hey, you know. And the benefits of that, we got a cool-ass <laughs> song!
<laughs> right. All right. So unfortunately, those awful. random things up there uh, apparently aren't actually <laughs> vulnerable to fire. So, um, fuck. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, just brute strength is going to have to do here. <laughs> die, die, die. Alright, so this is one of uh, Mog's dances. Fuck yeah, dance! Dance, yeah. magic dance! It's unfortunately not overly reliable. Thank you, Saban, for <laughs> giving him all that health. <laughs> Damn. Dance, magic dance. <laughs> All right, that switch will break the bridge. Fuck yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. A ninja? What? This guy's actually pretty dangerous. Uh, don't Ow. keep... <laughs> yeah, don't let him live for very long. Fucking ninja? Yeah. I it's really thought shadow. he was wielding like a, a saber. <laughs> and not I bet that ninja actually can kill people fucking silently well apparently not because uh well it's different for you David obviously come on <laughs> uh what was that noise what uh I heard a discord go off oh I I don't know what the what the discord oh, noise would I be don't... I don't know what it was either, and I still can't figure it out, so... Oh, well. Thankfully, uh, Mog is keeping everyone healthy by, uh... Um... <laughs> oh, there he goes. With his dance. <laughs> Replenishing all of our health. No! <laughs> I was just about to claim all the treasure buried in the ground beneath the big stairway for my own. <laughs> it just disappears. Alright, so that should take us down here. Alright, uh, here's the save point and a tent. So, yeah, that's a terrace specific tent. I think I mentioned her, the. Her specific tent. Yeah. Nice. Or is it well, distant fucking, sound? Look at you just falling out of fucking nowhere. God damn it. Um, so a this... A lot of I, lava. Yeah. <laughs> How are we not dead? We're this close to lava. You can be pretty close to lava and not die. You just get dehydrated. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of toxic fumes, I'm assuming, in here. Um, so there are a well, lot of little... she's like half god, so like... Yeah, but the other ones aren't. <laughs> Well, fuck them. They're all in her asshole right now. <laughs> yeah, I just love how <laughs> in the in a uh, seven when um yeah. when Kaishi just walks into the cloud, like uh, yeah, Kaishi is <laughs> this... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, that's all it does. <laughs> So yeah, there's a bunch of little um, goodies hidden around the uh, around the place. Um, mm -hmm. So look up a guide on that one because I don't remember every <laughs> step in footstep for that. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck. I want it. <laughs> Oh, thank you for uh, skipping all the <laughs> random encounters, because there are a lot in this place. So, how's your day? You know... That's the way Pretty good, bud. <laughs> Better than what it has been. 
front. Yeah, I. So. <laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to and not allowed to talk about. Okay. Te- <laughs> technically, it's announced to the public. So I'm allowed uh, to talk about the merger. Oh, okay. But, like, for security purposes, I can't, like, really. One of the things. It, it's that... job related, basically. Is one, one, a very important infrastructure thing was turned off and we were not informed and everybody was freaking out about it because of ignored, like if the licensing for it like finishes off it would take down our entire network Ooh. so we thought that the licensing was expired but the fucking thing has been turned off since like June of last year <laughs> and then we were just sitting there like looking like I could look at the traffic that was on it and I was like it hasn't had anything since June and they're like, well, what happened? And then I figured out that we replaced a piece of equipment in June. And he just never changed over the fucking... The serial numbers over so it would actually talk to that device. Mm. So it just kind of was just like, okay, cool, this is... Uh, I fucking hate my life. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah, and then they were like, well, we just talked to a bunch of fucking people and we were telling them that we had it handled. And I was like, "I right, yeah, and I get that. And he was like, and I'm not mad at you. And the guy that was saying this was like, I'm not mad at you guys. You guys did a great job. I'm just mad at the the incompetence. <laughs> of the other guy, and I was just like, I, you know, like him as a person, not not good to work with. Not good to work with at all. Yikes. Yeah, he he got let go at noon today. Ooh. Ooh. So I was just sitting there fucking like waiting to change everything over. And it's so weird once you, like, you, like, let somebody go like that, then, like, mm-hmm. you just, like, instantly get access to all the things that you've been asking for for, like, months. Oh. Oh. The door is opening. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was just making fun of Kevka. All right. So it only really takes one hit on uh, Kevka to trigger the next cutscene, so. Mm-hmm. And... Are we, is this like the like the like the boss stuff? This looks very bossy to me. So this is the door to the Esper realm right here. That this seems very like all or nothing, like final like final fight to me. Bahamut. <laughs> is that Bahamut? I believe so. I think that was Bahamut. Shiva, we already have you. What are you doing? <laughs> so, well, don't um... They, don't they, like, live in the Esper realm and then they kind of, like... They so, can come back? So, they... They lived in the Esper, the Esper realm. Um, and they yeah. closed the door so that the, the Empire couldn't come back in. Like, that's what we got from the cutscene mm-hmm. from uh, Terra's birth earlier, a few parts yeah. ago. Um, but, uh, so we came here to get their help to help defeat the Empire. Well, they're pretty pissed off that, uh, the Empire has been draining their, uh, their kin, and so they're going to wreak, uh, some havoc, and, um... As they should. Yeah, the... <laughs> well, within their rights. The only issue is... N- Similar to Terra, they can't really control themselves right now. Uh, well, it sucks to suck. <laughs> um, so, they're... Just trying to get out of the damn <laughs> cave. <laughs> uh, so, they're still pretty pissed off, and, and Terra's dead, okay. But she's still allowed to lead the party. <laughs> Uh, so we need to head back to our airship, and we'll get some more, uh, detail on what's, uh, kind of going down right now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Happened. What the well, fuck did you guys do? <laughs> um, everything's exploded! Basically, yes. Um, I saw a hot booby... Blue lady. 
My Shoot. wife just died. I'm lonely. <laughs> oh, sad. Precise. <laughs> Isn't he a part of your party now, Set? Setzer. Setzer. Yeah. 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 We could have brought him with us. I just didn't. I don't have all the. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the fixed dice just yet. Yeah. Look. At, look it's the estimate. Okay. Well, now. Okay. Dog pile. We're cuddling. Oh, no, no, it's more like cuddling. hit the deck. Come on, Locke. God damn. Espers. <laughs> they were I, angry. You know, this is a remaster. You know damn well they could have made a couple extra fucking pixel sprites. Be a little bit more, like, specific in their animations and stuff, but no. Well, maybe they'll do that for the, the pixel remaster. When it comes out, oh, they fucking won't. Yeah, probably not. But I'm, I actually am pretty excited for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted on whether I want to uh, get that and then record up to this point uh, to mm -hmm. where I've stopped recording. Because I mean, that's up to you. Yeah. It kind of depends on timing, I think. If because mm -hmm. uh, six is supposed to come out in February, which is tomorrow, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play Elden Ring the second it comes <laughs> out. Like I pre-ordered that shit, so I will not be available. I t I even told my girlfriend I was like, I love you. You're going to be dead to me. <laughs> I just want you to know. All right, I guess away. we need to record a lot more than just one episode. Then. <laughs> no. Well, like Ben. Yeah. All right, so uh, uh, we'll we'll see what the aftermath is in the next part. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.